so before going to the parameter cable test in the previous video let us do a correlation analysis in excel so now i have a data here so the data is like uh, i have taken temperature and i have taken vapor rate so example vapor rate is something like this i have two data temperature and vapor rate so both i'll select go to insert go to scatter and give the second one with the line so now there will be a correlation plot plotted like this then click on the line and right click add trend line come to the bottom display r square value on the chart display equation on the chart so equation what is that equation it will take time to tell so you should have in your mind that r square value should be more than 0.75 that means 75 percentage minimum correlation should be there in this case r square is 97.977 that means 97 percentage temperature and vapor rate there is a correlation as the temperature increases the vapor rate is also increasing proportionately suppose suppose i'll change the data like this i'll make it as a 10 9 8 7 6 5 now if you see r square is 1 that means 100 percent is temperature is causing the vapor rate in this example we have changed the data in a descending so that means as the temperature increases the vapor rate is decreasing there is a negative correlation suppose it is 10 it is 2 it is 3 it is 2 again 9 or 5 so in this case r square r square value is 0 0.04 that means only four percentage that means when the temperature increases there is no correlation between the correlation to the vapor rate this is a basic correlation now let us see in mini tab in mini tab the uh, in mini tab we let us see a matrix plot so now I have taken a data like this, temperature, pressure and speed and I have collected some data and there is a dimension as output. In this case, I have three input parameters and one output parameter. Now what I have to do is just go to graphs, then select matrix plot, click on simple matrix plot and save OK and select all the temperature by double clicking it and save OK. So you will get a matrix plot like this. In this matrix plot, you can see everything is scattered except these two things. That means temperature and dimension is having a correlation. In this way, we can do machine parameter correlation. Find out which parameter is correlating to which parameter and which parameter is correlating to the output. So we can find out the correlation between the input as well as between the outputs.